I'm presenting the topic today of But why do we have them? Why can other people just be happy for other people? It's who knows why these things are the way they are sometimes. They just I guess they simplistic are. But no fret. I will show you how to deal with haters, how to identify a hater, and oh, even how the simplest ways you can do to even do practically that you know how to even deal with it. And most importantly, how you identify the hater. Well, there's only some key things you have to know. Right? Let me see if it should be on the checklist. Let's see. Checking out the list. The first we need to know is what is a hater, right? Haters exist everywhere in the world as a natural trend. It's just what you do, you can say. And it's a hater for some reason or some other can't help but to hate them. It's just their somewhat code, you can say, or Inability? Who knows? Why it is? They just seem to do it all the time. <laughs> so, how to identify a hater? What is a hater? It goes more in the sense of the lines. A hater is a person that instead of going ahead and being happy for someone and just wash away all the the envy and jealousy and stuff like that and they think they want to embrace and be happy and even they like love the fact that even a friend's doing well but they have this expression on their face kind of like Hmm, it's jealousy, usually envy. So, what a hater does is instead of embracing uh, and wanting to help a friend or doing anything to be happy for a friend or relative, they do the quite the opposite. They tend to be the type that just be just always trying to sabotage what they're doing, or even um, talk down about them, or whatever they can do, pretty much to get their point across, this person should not be wrong with the right, and then they will go beyond the limits for some reasons, as many are unknown. Even anytime a person gets success, they'll talk bad about them. They'll try to think because they don't want no one to know they want to be praising them or the one thing that you would but in their eyes that's just not gonna happen. It's not possible. It shouldn't happen and they'll probably write every little scripture that they can to get back at this person. Now, 
fingers, it's just all around the nose. It's nothing you want to actually get away from. It's always going to be there. Now, going to what identifies the initial The best way to identify an inhaler is a hater can be with anybody. It can be with friends, it can be with family members, it can even be uh, an enemy, you know, or even a quaint and smaller stuff. Any of it, the hater is an any of it. The ways to identify a woman is one sabotage, this is your woman, um, the radios on the back talking with the around, or even some cases, you can put people down, even if you didn't do anything, or hurting the things, almost like a bullying type of thing, you know, they were here. Okay. Now, how to deal with a hater? Some people think the best thing is to confront a hater. No, actually, let me tell you what that is. Confronting a hater, that would be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or try to bring in to get that attention towards them and to make you look bad or to lose your temper and you can go off and then they could just easily switch and say, See, I'm a savage. Good night. Never want to do it. When you are saying things to the okay, they want that attention. You're just feeding into your block. So, the best way when you're dealing with a hater, check this on your list. Is Never, ever say a hater, no, they can talk to you. You can never, ever know. You have no reaction whatsoever to a hater. Matter of fact, we're going to use the freaking slogan that I have, and this is my slogan that I have used to deal with haters. And the slogan goes, and it's simply as put, is. The haters, it is, you do not, I either, I either slap my haters, you do not, or I don't hear them anymore. No. The reason why I can't say you either slap my haters or I don't hear them anymore. When I don't hear them a lot, you know, I'm not going to let them get to me, I'm not going to let them know me at I'm not even going to hear from my assistants. Their barbaric attitude is so foul looking that they even might even exist at these times in my life. They don't even need to know to me in my life. I know that they're them, but I don't give them any kind of satisfaction or attention that they want or what they see. I either take a hump and I'm like, what? What was that? I mean, you know why? That is the best way of getting to them because they crave attention and the fact that you don't give it to them you be pissed off you mean by being ignored make it extremely more pissed off two when i said i would either slap a hater is if someone said something usually you just brush it off your head or shoulder but there has to be that boundary line where um you have your moral code understand it that if they went ahead and offended you extremely bad, extremely bad, you know what I mean? I mean, I say slap a hater, you would just go ahead and do the approach as if you know, they had their moral code, but as a male approach. Like, what you say? You know what I mean? Like, those are fighting words. I go, correct yourself, you know what I'm saying? And you want to fight, you know what I mean? And you duke it out. It's, you just go that way and don't turn back. That also lets other people know that you have a moral code 
and they were marking the ball how to defend it or defend it that way because you know, once, one person do it and then another do it. I mean, it's one thing if they're just saying talking shit, you know, behind the back or whatever. And when people talk shit behind the back, I go, that never happened because you know what? They don't have the balls to say it to my fucking face. You know what I mean? If they did have it to say it to my fucking face, I'll listen to them and then I'll beat them. That's just the way it would go. You know, because. Sometimes, you know, you have to be a little bit like the alpha, you know what I mean? You can't let someone just go and ignore that. Um, but those are only the certain things that they were there that they said, where they just disrespected that line in their, in their coat. And with that, you know, that's the only way you would stop it. Mostly the best effective way is not to ignore them. And there's a chicken shit and bullshit and you know what I mean? Whatever, yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Just ignore them. The more you ignore them, the first off they get. Okay. Now, see, some people would be thinking, okay, why don't we just cut the little bit of it all together completely? Because so this is the reason why we're going to get rid of it. It is completely. You can never truly, truly get rid of a hater. And if you can try to get rid of a hater, you're just pretty much, you know, you're playing at the wrong game. You don't want to play with them. You're supposed to be better than that. Because instead of them going off and getting their own life, you mean, they have decided to dedicate their life to focusing on you, you know what I mean? You, so they are focusing, you are the dedication of life, you know what I mean? So that means that the only way you can really get back at your hater is by being yourself completely, ignoring them all the way, and continuing doing you. You being you, just doing you. And guess what? I can't change who the hell I am, so I'm not gonna stop doing myself. <laughs> so that's that's the way they get into it. I'm gonna just keep on continuing when you do that. Hmm. As a matter of fact, in since most case scenarios, you wanna kind of somewhat not be friendly, you don't wanna be a friend, which I mean is it's more of acquaintance, you know what I mean? You wanna have an acquaintance with your hater, you know what I mean? Sometimes that people hate just by simply misunderstanding and interpretation that they talk of you, you hear your words and not the other, so they don't really know you. But just taking the time to go ahead and like everybody's saying, just taking the time to meet. Simply meet. Sometimes they realize that they don't hate you at all. And that in fact, in fact, they might have more in common than you understand, but they would never get the chance because they were going off the word and not for someone else. Same thing. So if you find someone that's hating you and you even know, you can try to just meet and talk to them a little bit. You can keep your acquaintance, you know, from your word of knowledge. Too. And if they still hate you, then afterwards, why you can't satisfy them and just do it, but at least you try. You know? Um, I say always keep this keep it yourself and you you know what I mean. Haters let you know that you're doing something right. You know what I mean? The more haters that you have, the more that you know that you're doing it than them. So keep on doing it. Um, by you trying to ignore and everything you do, they're not running away from your problems, they're still doing it you and eventually they're really just gonna stop or try not talk to you at all or you know, deal with it. Not everyone's gonna like the same thing, we're not all of us in the same way, so just continue to be you. So remember, keep in your own way. When you have a hater, stay in your own way. So take care and ciao. Bye.